Welcome to the HP DesignJet How to Use video series. In this episode, I will discuss how to load and unload media into the HP DesignJet Z6800 photo production printer. Paper is only a subset of the portfolio of printing materials that the printer can handle. You can also print on a wide variety of films, textiles, fabrics, self-adhesive materials, and banner and sign materials. At this point, I will refer to paper as media to keep things consistent. Let me begin by first talking about matching media to the printer. All medias are not created equal. Most inkjet medias have a coating that is designed to accept certain types of inks. This coating is designed to keep the ink on the surface of the media and not bleed through. It allows the media to get saturated and generally produces a greater image with sharp lines and text. HP develops these coatings to specifically work with the ink that produces the best results possible. There are uncoated medias that can be used. You need to be careful when using these types of medias. Ink has a tendency to bleed through the media and the image quality can be less than what you expect. We get asked a lot about printing on rigid media such as poster board and foam core. The HP DesignJet Z6800 cannot print on these materials. Since most of these materials do not have an inkjet coating and many times have defects that can cause the print head to strike the surface, the HP DesignJet printer line does not support this type of printing. However, HP does make a large format flatbed printer line that does print on these types of materials safely and produce amazing results. Visit hp.com for more information about these printers. The HP DesignJet Z6800 uses pigment ink, so typically the media should have a porous coating. The other type of coating is swellable, and that is used with products such as the HP DesignJet T3500 EMFP. Those printers utilize a dye-based set of ink. How can you tell which media will work best with the HP DesignJet Z6800? So the best option is to download the media compatibility chart from the website shown below. Click on the Learn More button under the Graphics and Technical Media section. Then click on Dealer Tools and download the PDF document. You can also contact a sales representative by calling 1-888-893-4668. The number again is 1-888-893-4668. Rolls of media have either a two inch core, as shown here, or they have a three inch core. The HP DesignJet Z6800 spindle accepts media that has a two inch core. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm actually gonna load a 24 inch wide media roll. Basically, it's easier to handle. And that's how you load media onto the spindle. If the media that you are using has a 3 inch core, you're going to have to actually use the 3 inch core adapters which ship with your printer. That's what these guys are. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and slide the core adapter all the way down the spindle and lock it into place there. Go ahead and set this aside for a moment. The blue end cap and place the three inch core adapter into the lock mechanism. Now you're ready to load the media onto the spindle. and it's just that easy. The HP DesignJet Z6800 can hold media that measures from 12 inches up to 60 inches in width. The printer will not recognize rolls of media that are less than 12 inches wide. The maximum roll diameter that the printer can hold is 6.7 inches. Most rolls of media are usually between 100 feet and 150 feet in length, 
with a few measuring 200 feet in length. These rolls are very heavy and usually require a couple of people to handle them safely when loading. Okay, time to load some paper into the HP Design Jet Z6800. Always start at the front panel display of the printer. Go into the printer submenu and click on load paper. On the front panel display of the printer, you will see an animation and instructions on what to do next. Now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the process. It is very important to indicate what type of media has been loaded into the printer. The printer will prompt you to do this on the front panel display. You will also have a chance to enter the length of the media being loaded. Since the printer tracks how much media is being used per print job, you can get an accurate reading on the remaining amount of media on the loaded roll at any time. If you're loading a type of HP media that is not listed in the media profile menu in the printer, you should actually stop and look to see if you can download this media profile from the BMG website. The URL is listed below. You will need to download the zip file for the media profile that you're missing. Save it to your computer, access the HP DesignJet Z6800 embedded web server through the Internet Explorer, click on the Setup tab, then click on Paper Preset Management link, browse to the file location, and click on Update. It will take a couple of minutes for this media profile to be loaded into the HP DesignJet. If you're loading a third-party media, such as Photo Gloss Paper, you should select the closest HP media profile, such as HP Photo Gloss Paper, as that media profile. If you wish, you can actually create a custom media profile using the HP DesignJet utility software and the onboard spectrophotometer. We will cover how to do this in this video. The media that we just loaded is ready to go, so let's start printing. Now let's unload the media. The HP DesignJet Z6800 will print a media data barcode on the bottom right-hand side of the media before it is unloaded. This will enable you to identify the type of media and how many linear feet are left on the roll. When you load this roll again, the printer will read the barcode and you will not need to enter the data manually. To begin this process, start at the front panel, access the paper submenu, and select unload paper. The printer will then begin the process of printing a media data barcode and unload the roll. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this process now. So you can clearly see that there's a barcode printed here. It shows me how many linear feet are left on the roll and what type of media it is. Now I can go ahead and store this roll of media and move on to my next task. 
As I mentioned earlier, there may be instances in which you want or need to create a custom media profile. You may be using a third-party media, or you may want to alter a current HP media profile to allow more ink saturation on the paper for as an example. The HP DesignJet Z6800 has a built-in spectrophotometer, which makes this process very easy to do. First, we need to use the HP DesignJet utility software to begin this process. You can download the software from hp.com. Go into the support menu, under drivers, enter the HP DesignJet Z6800 in the product field and follow the on-screen menus to locate the HP DesignJet utility software. So I have opened the HP DesignJet utility. I'm going to first click on select profile paper. At this point, the utility is going to identify all of the different paper profiles that are already preloaded into the printer. So for this exercise, I've loaded HP Instant Dry Photo Satin Paper. So I need to make sure to select that media profile here. Once I've selected that, I click Next. And I want to make sure that I select Print Target and Create ICC Profile and click Next. At this point, I can rename the ICC profile name. So for this exercise, I will just simply name it Test Satin Paper. And I'm going to click Next. At this point, the printer has begun the process of printing color patches for the spectrophotometer to read. The printer uses the measurements to calculate the necessary correction factors for consistent color printing on that media type. It also calculates the maximum amount of ink that can be applied to the media. The new ICC profile is stored in the correct system folder on your computer where your software programs can find them. The custom paper will be added to the paper category that you've selected. At this point, the printer is going to print a calibration chart, and I will show you what that looks like. Now our media has been profiled and it's ready to use. We can feel confident that the printed output will be correct each time. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more in-depth product information, I recommend that you refer to the user's manual which shipped with your printer on a CD. Or you can download it at hp.com under the support tab.